tremolo is, is, is a very good practice in, even if we don't have to play tremolo in the pieces we are actually uh, working because it balances our right hand in, in, a very, in a very nice way. Um, so, because the tremolo is the only thing where we have, of course we have the arpeggios as well that we need to use the four fingers, but in the tremolo we will be using all the fingers and with a very precise way and with a lot of control. So um, what uh, I like to work is the combination of the different fingers. In the, in the tremolo we will have the combination of the A with the M and then the M with the, with the I. So the first thing um, to do is to see, to be able to make a clear attack, a clean a nice sound of these two fingers, no? A and M. And once we get it very light, then we can try, and also uh, we have to fix the nails. If we see that there is nails when we approach the string, that we have nail uh, sound, we have to fix those nails. So, for example, like this, no? We, once we work on these two fingers, we will work on these two fingers, which is the next combination. N, I. Light. N. And then we will, we will put the three fingers, the three fingers together. But it's really important to work the speed and the control between these two and then between these two. What happens usually is that we are working more with P, I, M in most of our pieces. So the speed between A and M and the control between A and M is much less than the control we have between M and I. And that's the first problem we usually find when we begin working on the tremolo. So I like to work a lot the speed of uh, P-A-M, P-A-M, to work with this kind of combination, P-A-M. Even to work together the P with the A. Why? Because in the tremolo, the thumb also should become very close to the A in order to to, to, to be uh, like one thing and not two separate lines. So it's also very useful to work together P and I. So uh, to me we have to focus a lot in, in the control of A and M, the control of playing A and M. And um, after we have a kind of balance in between the fingers and get to control the A and M, also we check the sound, we check there is no uh, noise, then we can begin with very slowly with the three of them. I'm just putting a chord and to concentrate in the, in the, in the attack of the right hand. And the next thing, uh, important thing in the tremolo is not to have any accent. We want a line of the tremolo that would be a really legato. And many times one of the fingers is, is heavier than the other. So we uh, work, we force to do accents with the different fingers. In that way, we control the weight of each finger. So I will explain you. I, I will begin after, those are steps, no? So we begin from the, from the first steps and after we go to the next step. We begin the tremolo with A and we do an accent. And the other is very light. And then we change and we begin with M, with an accent. And once we are done with the M, 
Then we do the same with the I. We begin with I. Accent. And the other is very light. And then it passes to the thumb. Very light the others. So once we've gone through all the fingers, we try to do it with no accent. So we try to have this feeling that we had when we had an accent in one finger and the others were very light. We, we try to have that feeling in all the fingers. And we control that there is no accent because another common problem is that one finger gets heavier than the other, is more powerful than the others, and always usually should be the M or the I. And we very often listen th this kind of, of problem in the tremolo. So in this way we are trying to control that all the fingers are really light, are, are really light and there are no, no accents in the, in the line. Uh, so concerning, you know, the control of, of the A, M, I, those are exercises that will help you uh, a lot to develop the tremolo. Another thing also that is nice, we I said before, is to work the tremolo as well with the P finger together with the A, as we were doing this as well. And then when we do the tremolo, it's like we we arpeggiate this two in order to put the thumb together. So we can work also the thumb clo to in order to put the thumb closer to the A, we can work the thumb together with uh, with the A. And uh, one, one thing that is important is that um, the weight of our thumb usually is more uh, heavy than the weight of the other fingers. But most of the times we have the melody on our AMI so we have to also work on that control and and we can work it doing dynamics with a m i and keeping still the 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 thumb so the line of the of the thumb would be still With, with dynamics in the other fingers. Other problem we find is that uh, in the tremolo, we, we, it's the only way we have in the guitar, well, the only way uh, we can play a very long melody, a very long legato melody. But what happens is that we are having as well changes in our left hand. And how can we keep that line without being cut? So there are two things basically when we when we want to um when we are moving from one place to the other and we have the melody with a common finger so uh, for example uh, here i'm moving with a glissando on the on the line of the tremolo so the connection if the connection we have a common finger and we can do a glissando that is a way of connect the line but sometimes we don't have a connection like that and what we are doing we are changing harmony with our left hand instead of switching the whole chord we change in a different moment the harmony with the finger that is sustaining the line of the of the tremolo so this is very important because in that way we can keep the line of the tremolo always legato. So we have either a glissando to connect a connection when we have a common finger or when the finger of the tremolo has to jump to keep that finger until the last moment, until we've already switched the harmony and jump really fastly to the, to the next spot. Another thing that is, is important in the tremolo is that we have to think that the tremolo will be flexible. We'll have dynamics, but also we'll have accelerandos and ralentandos. In this way, we 
we will help the music with the crescendos and with the decrescendos. So we we have to try to work it in this way. So being able to drive to a very high speed and also make it flexible. So I'm not being still with the with the rhythm. Always the rhythm of the of the tremolo will be will be moving around in order to make the phrases more natural. So we have to also have in mind this thing when we work the tremolo, not to just try to get a, a, a static speed. We will work, uh, when we work the tremolo, all these exercises we were doing at the beginning, and we try to rise the speed, it's fantastic. We have to arrive to a, a, a certain uh, speed. When we actually play the pieces, we will be moving with the speed up and down all the time. So we have to also think in that and uh, how we want to phrase the, the, the melody and we will be uh, helping with, with this variety of, of speeds and dynamics in the tremolo. A lot of people, um, myself included, have a problem with playing tremolo on the B string. The E string is sometimes fine but the B string is always difficult. Do you, do you have any way of because we always grab the, the first string. Yeah. Yes, there, the, when we, when we uh, make the movements of the tremolo, we have to try to not to go very far away with our fingers. Because as, as more far away as we will go, when we will come back, we will have more chances to grab the other fingers on the way. So we try to stay close. string sorry so uh, this is the best way to have less chances to to grab the other another thing I do I try I stop the sound of the first string with my left hand yeah, so whenever possible <laughs> yes I, I for example here I'm stopping it with the, this yeah, yeah. so if you hit it what would it sound like it, would, it wouldn't sound yeah. so I, I try always to say if every time I'm playing on the second string I'm always stopping the first so in case I hit the first to at least not come out with an open E. Mm -hmm. This is another thing that we can do. But uh, on the right hand, we, we have to try to do a, a, a small movement, really not going very far away from, from the string. That would make us to be uh, much safer when we have to play on the B string. Mm 